Hi everybody, Dr. Ellis here. In this short video, we're going to talk about the many functions that your skeletal system plays in the body. When we talk about the functions of the skeleton, there are some functions that are completed by the skeleton as a whole, and some functions that are completed by the internal structures of each of your bones. So let's start with what your skeleton as a whole does for you. The first thing that the skeleton does that's very, very important is protecting your organs. We've talked about this a lot with organs like the brain, for example, but by having the rib cage, we're protecting our sensitive organs like the lungs or the heart, our uh, reproductive and urinary system organs housed within the pelvis. So the protection of organs, a major function of the skeleton. The skeleton is also something that gives your body its overall structure. Your ability to stand upright, your ability to have a shape, is thanks to your skeleton. And that ties into the fact that your muscles also attach to the skeleton. Whether it's directly through muscle fibers attaching to the bone tissue, or whether we're using connective tissue, bone makes a really great attachment point to pull on enabling movement. When we look inside the bones, two of the major internal functions of the skeleton come from what we find in the middle of it. Some of the middle of your bones is filled with red bone marrow. Red bone marrow has the ability to do what's called hematopoiesis. Hematopoiesis is the process we use to make new red blood cells. So in the spongy bone tissue of our bones, or in a child, the bone marrow that's found inside their large medullary cavity is red bone marrow. And red bone marrow has the ability to make those red blood cells. Most adult long bones are actually filled with yellow bone marrow, and when we talk about yellow bone marrow, this does not make red blood cells, but it is a way for us to store energy in the form of triglycerides. So two of my components that I find in the very middle of my bones of the body either help me with red blood cell synthesis or they help me with storing energy. But most of the bone tissue is actually made out of calcium and phosphate. When I put these things together, I call it hydroxyapatite. So when your body has extra calcium, we'll put it into bone tissue. When we don't have enough calcium, we'll steal it from bone tissue. One last function to mention of the skeleton is that it actually has the ability to make a hormone. So osteocalcin is a hormone that we use to help manage our blood glucose levels. This is something you'll talk more about in AMP2, but osteocalcin, remember that this is the one hormone that we talk about the skeleton making, helping us with balancing our glucose.